All the things you don't know about how to wear a tie. We get questions about this a lot. How long should my tie be? Can we please answer it once and for all? It's all based on where your pants sit. You're gonna to wanna to tie your tie and make sure the tip of the tie comes to the middle of the waistband or the middle of the belt. Uh -huh. John actually tied this tie on himself. I will give him total credit. Yeah, he And did points. a perfect job of it. You don't see any of the shirt coming around here. Yeah, and so it sort of closes the, the gap it for does. the shirt. Another little GQ detail that I always see you put into a tie, uh, I've seen it on our covers over and over again, is the dimple. It is actually forbidden to be in GQ without a dimple. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at any of those old photographs of, you know, silent movies, film stars into the talkies, into the 50s and the 60s, the dimple was always there. And it was right. basically a way to really make the tie crisp, make that knot really severe and right. make the idea of wearing a tie really really an important detail right. in your wardrobe. So you want to tie a classic four in hand, which is once around and through. And then right when you get to about there, you want to start forming the dimple. Pull the tie and formulate it once it's in. I like to grab the side and the knot and pull as hard get as I can. Get a really tight knot that has Locks. a dimple that will stay there all day. Exactly. You ready to go? The tie lift, it's mundane to some, to us, it's pretty much everything. It's huge. Huge. For me, it's, you know, we're three-dimensional beings, yep. and it's like, I wanna see a little bit of movement in that tie. Just give it a little slack at the top, clip on the tie bar. A lot of people think the tie bar is just to attach the two pieces of tie, but it's actually to attach it to the shirt. We've got the built-in lift, it's gonna stay there because your tie bar is in place. Find a cover without a lift. <laughs> This is GQ, and we're not gonna talk to you about ties without showing you some actual ties. Jim, what is going on back there? <laughs> Bring a racket ties everywhere I go. Um, <laughs> Just the old behind you. <laughs> I think if we were standing here a year or two ago, mm -hmm. most of these ties would be silk. Right. But believe it or not, every one of these ties are wool. These are not the old wooly ties you remember of the past. It's not a fox hunting tie. This is not right. like, you know, you're in Scotland and, This you is know, a business tie. This is a business tie, well, yeah. You know, like sending emails, what we do now. I mean, you even have a dress check here. Yep. You have a houndstooth like we put on the cover. You have a little bit of a woolier, some retro pattern, and a stripe wrap. All in wool. I'd say if you've got these five ties in your arsenal or something similar to it, you're gonna be set for the season. And I think what you're gonna to wanna to do is take those silks and move them to the back of the closet, especially for fall. Right, maybe one day they'll come back in style, but this fall, it's all about the wolves. It's all about the wolves. All right, thank you, Jim. Thank you.